Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer, and I know some of you guys have did this process and looking for the best video to figure out the black screen issue with OBS, but I will ensure you that it is not OBS, it's actually Microsoft. When you do updates, Microsoft always changes settings, and when we optimize our laptops and our desktops, and we undervote our receive use to save power when we're not using the laptops or the desktops. And when we update it, Microsoft changes these settings. So before we start, I'm the panel photographer. What we do on this channel is teach photography, videography, and tech tips. And this is a tech tip. So take this with a grain of salt. If you want to support this channel, please do subscribe, like, and share the content. I really do appreciate it if you do support this channel by also clicking the filling links or to keep the lights on here, there is a PayPal donation link to help me keep the lights on here. But with that said, let's get started. First and foremost, go to control panel. When you go to control panel, you're going to actually go into manage 3D settings. Go to programs. Yes, I know some of you have already been through this process. I know some of you already have done that, but I have to ensure you that you did this process before we get into the corporate of why you have a black screen. You're going to add, you're going to browse, you're going to go to the local disk, programs, OBS, bin, 64-bit folder, and before you select this OBS 64-bit execution file, you're going to right-click Oops, not this right click, but you can select it, then right click it. On properties, go to compatibility mode, select Windows 7, click the box that says run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7. You're going to, you're going to then apply, click OK, select, now you're going to select OBS 64-bit execution file. You open it, you select the file of the OBS, you click OK and you're done with that. Now, the next step is go into Windows and you type in Settings. And in Settings, you're going to type in, in Settings, make sure that you type in Graphics Settings. And you're going to see this screen. In the screen, you're going to just leave Classic App the where it is. You're going to browse. You're going to look for that exact same OBS 64-bit execution file. And you're going to select the 64-bit execution uh, application. Click it. Add it. Once you add it, you're going to see a display. The display is going to have a default or high performance. You want to select power settings. Save it. Click OK. Once you're done, go to OBS, right click on OBS, run as administrator, and boom, you should get this display. Just to prove to you guys that this is working, that this is also one of my sources. I have scenes and sources, and you can see that it's actually working perfectly in sync, and it's working fine. For those that are dealing with this issue, this ongoing crisis, let me know down in the comments if this has fixed your issue with OBS black screen. And I've been through three laptops and I tell you this, it's, it's Microsoft that's doing the black screen and it's not OBS. So I know many of you are accusing OBS and not fixing this problem, but it's, I assure you it's not OBS. I thought so too at one point, but I was wrong. So with that said, I'm the Panda Photographer. If you like this channel, please subscribe, like, and share. Support the channel with the affiliate links. And like I always say in the end of my videos, eat, sleep, photography, videography, OBS, and repeat. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Happy shooting.